on today's episode of Dapper Daniel. 3206 C floor plan. This one's currently listed at $518,000. For this home and this elevation, it kind of has like a mix of stone and brick on it. Also on the front of this home is going to be the utility closet. Going a little bit further, then it gets right into the kitchen. The primary bedroom in here, ceiling heights go a little bit taller. They look like they go up about nine foot. Got three windows that face out towards the backyard. Driveway is on here. It's really just two sides of a concrete pad that open up into a bigger pad. Uh, so that makes sense. Howdy folks, welcome back to another video today. We're still checking out Riseland Homes. So if you guys go back to my Van Alstine playlist, you guys will see in there a 65 foot lot tour. I did other model home. Now I'm gonna be touring a inventory on a 45 foot lot here. So this one is the 3206 C floor plan. This one's currently listed at $518,000, four bed, four and a half bath, 2,676 square feet with a stone elevation on it. So we'll walk through this one and I'll mention this again like I did on my last one. Riceland doesn't do any build from scratch. So if you are wanting to buy a Riceland home, it's kind of just down to, uh, is the floor plan right for you? Do you like what they picked out? Cause like I said, unlike some other builders, they're not gonna actually let you pick out um, and build from scratch. You're gonna have to kind of just be okay with what they have for their floor plan. So a lot of inventory homes just down this street. So they're kind of just waiting for the perfect buyer when it comes to these floor plans. Now for this home and this elevation, it kind of has like a mix of stone and brick on it. It's, the brick is painted white on here and then they have some other gray accents kind of around. But these 45 foot lots are a little bit different than some of the other 40, 50 lots that I kind of come across in some other neighborhoods. But I'll talk about that in a bit. For the entryway here, walking up to the front door has a small little covered porch area but nothing uh, that you can really sit out in front of some of these other inventory homes do have more of a porch on the front where you could have some chairs uh, but with this elevation not really gonna happen for the door that they picked out in here it is a dark brown and then there is glass on it too bringing in some nice light to this entryway this home is facing out towards the south also on the front of this home is going to be the utility closet. So you got the utility closet kind of further away from the bedrooms and the primary bedroom. So a little bit further than what you typically see, but it is a 45 foot lot. So some things are gonna be a little bit smaller here and there and just put into, into different places. Unlike other floor plans that are a little bit bigger where the uh, utility closet is a little bit closer to the primary bedroom. And then this home is also gonna be two stories as well. But for the first room on the front, it is the utility closet. You get one shelf within the utility closet and then one window uh, that fully opens up on this one so going a little bit further down into the entryway there is a powder bathroom over to the left there's a little bit of a niche built into here on this wall and then for this vanity there's no other cabinets or anything on here it is just a sink frameless mirror and then there's the toilet on that side for these ceiling heights in here it looks like they're around seven and a half eight foot they go up a little bit higher when you get into the stairway, but pretty much the same height through the rest of this floor plan. And then the first bedroom is at the front of the house here, opposite from the utility closet uh, and that powder bathroom. The closet space in here, pretty standard, one closet rod, one shelf, got double doors that open up. And then it comes with its own bathroom in here, so they got gray tiling. And then for the fixtures and the handles and everything that they picked out is a satin nickel color. For this one, it's Delta fixtures for the sink, candles, and the shower head. And then for this vanity, there's just one small cabinet down below, but no other extra hardware on these cabinets, just really kind of a smooth finish. Going a little bit further, then it gets right into the kitchen. So for the kitchen space here, it looks like, I wanna say that this is granite. Kind of gives like a marble look to it. It might be dolomite. I think this is granite. We're gonna go with granite. I need to get better at knowing my uh, countertops and what they look like. They kind of all just blend together. I mean, sometimes I can tell a granite from a granite, but this one kind of looks really sparkly like a dolomite. Interesting. Anyways, all right, let's talk about the kitchen for a bit. So they painted the cabinets on here in a gray. I think it does look good with like what they picked out for the countertop. And then there's a nickel finish on the hardware too. They don't have the cabinet stacked all the way up, but they do have like a little bit of molding on the top of the cabinets. They are soft closed. The oven and the gas stove top are all combined into the one. So it kind of gives like an apartment vibe in here with how that looks like. It is Samsung appliances for the oven. So I don't really know how reputable Samsung ovens are. If you guys have used a Samsung oven, please leave it down in the comments. Same thing with the uh, microwave, but I just, my family has dealt with Samsung fridges. And if you know anything about Samsung fridges, you know that the ice machine always breaks. So my family has kind of stayed away from Samsung appliances, but you might be okay with Samsung. But personally, I don't, I don't think it's 
quite the best. I think there are some better options out there. The backsplash is just in this thicker subway tiling. Also matches over here on this side where the fridge is at. Then for the pantry, decent sized pantry on here, five shelves. And then for the sink, it's stainless steel. And uh, they have this one also in the same kind of nickel finish with the faucet. And then across from the kitchen, is going to be the living dining room. So you got your living room on this side and then they have this chandelier kind of coming down because this is where your table would go. And then behind this door is a little bit different and this is what I was gonna talk about. So before we open up that door, right, you have your garage over on this side. So unlike some of these other floor plans, right, and these other 40 foot lots, I've only come across this type of setup in one other neighborhood over in South Lake. Uh, with the houses like this. So this is a little bit different. I think it's one or two things. Either you're gonna love it or you're gonna absolutely hate how these homes are kind of set up with the lots. But it is a 40 foot lot. So I think they're just kind of trying to do stuff with different space. Because you're gonna get like a bigger primary. You're gonna get more of like an open feel here and there. You're gonna actually see your backyard instead of there kind of being a wall where the garage is where you don't get a whole big backyard. So I would say with these 45, 40 foot lots, you're getting a way bigger backyard than what you're typically seeing. Uh, with some other 40 foot lots that I've toured before where you get a really small backyard, but you get a really big backyard within here. So that's kind of the advantage. So there's a pros and cons with this, right? Like you have the detached garage, but you get a way bigger backyard. So we'll step out there in a little bit, but instead of the water heater being in the garage, it's actually within here. So you have your water, water heater set up, which it's kind of funky being in this, but I do like how it's on the first floor instead of being up on the second floor. So I think that's okay. All right, going into the living room. So once again, you got tempered glass going all the way around and then they painted the frames in an almond color matching out with the outside. Uh, before we step out to the backyard, let's just go into the primary bedroom. So the primary bedroom in here, ceiling heights go a little bit taller. They look like they go up about nine foot. Got three windows that face out towards the backyard. And then this is what the bathrooms look like. So they have the vanities connected in with each other. And then there is a little cubby over on this side. There's probably different options depending on the inventory home that you come across, right? You either have one that's kind of set up like this or it'll have the tub. So you get a little bit bigger of a shower within here and then they match the tile in this dark gray with like some white veining through it as well but it kind of all flows together this is kind of how i like it set up where the pattern is going let's just call this north and south and then the pattern is still kind of flowing the same instead of it going you know vertical it's still running horizontal matching and flowing down with the rim i sometimes i see these going vertical and i see this going a different direction it kind of just plays games with my eyes but you might be okay with that. Sometimes I do like the tiling that goes up uh, vertical because it just makes your wall look taller, but I think it just comes down to what the pattern is, what it kind of looks like and how it flows down with the floor. And then the toilet is behind this door and then you get the closet over on this side too. So four closet rods, four shelves, and then the hookup for the home and all the wiring is within this closet as well. So that's the primary bathroom, primary bedroom. Let me step outside real quick and show you this. So like I said, this is just a little bit different than what you typically see on 40 foot lots. Now this one is on a 45, but I would kind of put it right there with a uh, 40 foot lot as well. So the driveway is on here. It's really just two sides of a concrete pad that open up into a bigger pad down into here and then you do get a decent amount of backyard space but you would have your garage separated you could also look at this as a pro because most house fires actually stimulate from the garage so i guess in that sense maybe it's just a little bit safer you know if we want to look at pros here but the con is that it's not going to be attached with your your house so walking into the home and everything it's you know, it's just gonna be a little bit more of a walk, but you would be able to fit a good amount of cars down this way too. So, some options. It's also gated, as I might mention. So a little bit more privacy, or I guess a little bit more safety with that. Across from that door and the patio, is just a small coat closet, and then we'll go upstairs. So that's the first floor down here, and then upstairs it goes into carpet. So down here is like luxury plank vinyl, and then it goes into carpet and then three windows that bring in some more light into this kind of staircase area. It's kind of closed off here with this half wall that they have set up, but this is where the rest of the bedrooms are gonna be. So the first room you walk up into, I guess this could be used as a study space, maybe over in this nook. And then you have like a little game room, playroom area over on this side as well. There is a media room set up for this floor plan here. Let me find a light for it. 
So this one comes with a media room, kind of smaller, but then again, guys, this is a 45 foot lot. So some things are just gonna be smaller here and there, but I do like how it comes with a media room. There's some good things about this house, right? Like you get the primary on the first floor, you get a media room. I think you'd be able to use maybe one of these rooms as a study, because you also get two bedrooms on the bottom floor. These Riceland homes are just set up a little bit different than majority of the 40 foot lots that I walk through or 45 foot lots uh, from other builders. So this is a pretty long extended bathroom, shower, toilet set up down here and then you get a pretty good size dual vanity. That would be shared with whoever is staying within these bedrooms and then the bedrooms here are just gonna have a few closets. So you get that closet and then you also get that closet. So that's an interesting way how they set up. I think there's maybe one too many doors in here, but I kind of understand what they did because I see some of these where they'll have a big closet, but the door will be in the middle and then you have a, you know, you, you don't really have enough room to kind of walk down, if that makes sense to get back to those clothes. So they kind of separated where you'd have one set of clothes over here hanging and then another set of clothes over here on this side hanging as well. So maybe you like that look or maybe you don't. I think there might be one too many doors within this room. These rooms are also not gonna come with a fan. You're really only gonna get a fan out in the living area. So up here you get a fan and then downstairs in the living room there was also a fan. But back within these bedrooms, there's not gonna be a fan. Small closet before you get into the next bedroom. And then this bedroom is on the back of the house here. So this is kind of what it looks like between you and your neighbors. So with these 40 foot lots, you're gonna get a little bit less privacy. So you're gonna kind of share a wall in some aspects. Like you can kind of see this backyard where it's fence and then there's that person's garage and then there's more fence. So like for your backyard, it's kind of the same deal where it's like fence, their garage wall, and then more fence kind of around there, but a little bit less privacy in that aspect too. But this is the back bedroom. Only one closet set up there with a closet rod. And then, oh, it does come with its own bathroom. Okay, pretty nice. And going back again, like. Like, there's just something set up with this home that's a little bit different than most of the 45 foot lots that I walk through. Like, usually you're not getting a secondary suite up on this, or two secondary suites within like a 45 foot lot. But with this one, you are on how this floor plan is. So I think this is really set up pretty nice for like investment wise and how uh, they laid this out because these types of things are pretty important to a buyer um, when you go to resell that house later on. All right, so that is gonna do it for this floor plan and what $518,000 could buy you over at Mantua Point. If you guys have any other questions about Riseland Homes or building over in this area for new construction, please send me a text or give me a call. I have all my information down below. Other than that, peace out y'all and take it easy as always. Thanks for checking out my channel and watching that video. I got more videos floating around here. If you're in the market to buy or sell real estate in the DFW area, contact me, Daniel, at the Home Expert team. I will be happy to answer any of your questions. Uh, besides that, uh, bye.